welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is naomi amber and if you're new what's good what's popping it is lit around here i promise you that trust me i know that trust me i know that so with that being said please be sure to subscribe to my channel i'm on the road to 10k there's a lot of nice stuff a lot of cool stuff going on around here we got some hauls we got some vlogs so just sit back and enjoy yourself and subscribe to my channel <laughs> but today we're going to be doing a collective haul i haven't done one of these in a minute the last video that i did was all black owned brands and like a little bit of instagram boutiques yeah i got a lot of stuff over the past couple months and i literally have it had it sitting in the corner waiting for me to film pick up and you know show you guys all the different goodies that i got hopefully some of the stuff that i got is not sold out um and that you guys can actually be able to get them so i'm gonna try to go in order of category as best as I can and then try to group brands together too as well but I'm really excited like but before we get started on this collective haul I want to show you guys some uh, new additions to this growing perfume collection that I have thanks to Dossier so shout out to them for partnering with me again for a another video super super exciting Dossier sent me two new fragrances and if you aren't familiar with Dossier they sell a luxury fragrance at a fair price and I love that for me because I am not breaking the bank on these designer perfumes like I absolutely refuse giving you the same high quality that you would get out of other designer perfumes but not breaking the bank but I received two new scents from them so we're just gonna go through them the first one oriental brown sugar so the top notes are bergamot raspberry and pear the middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar, and the base notes are patchouli, amber, and vanilla. You guys know I'm a sucker for some vanilla scent, so I just know that this one is about to hit different. Here is what it looks like in the box. This is the scent you wear when you're going over to your man's house for closure, and this is last chance. And like this is this is the scent. That's this is the scent. It's very grown and mature. I think it's the amber that's in there that's making this give that mature scent. But I really really like this. Like this is a really something you wear to make people turn heads like the next one that i got like i said you guys know i'm a sucker for vanilla scents so it is just the floriental vanilla so the top notes are mandarin pear pink pepper and licorice and the middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom and the base notes are cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee this one is inspired by ysl black opium and i actually do have ysl black opium ysl black opium was my staple scent my freshman year of college it just brings back so much nostalgia so let's see if this one brings me back brings me back to a time so here is a floriental vanilla oh 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 this is this one def this is definitely reminds me so much of YSL black opium like oh yeah if you're looking for a luxury fragrance at half the cost at a fraction of the price if you're looking for YSL black opium but you're not trying to spend that coin to get this get literally freshman year all over again in this room so, like all their scents like I said are affordable they range from $29 to about $59 compared to the $300 $200 you're gonna spend on retail designer perfumes so that is a plus you get to save some money put some extra money in your pocket and still smell good Period. And like I said before, Dossier offers free returns and exchanges forever. So that is great. So if you wanted to exchange your perfume, if you weren't really feeling it too much, like you wanted to get Floriental Vanilla after you just heard my review. And Dossier also offers great deals on their website. They have up to 25% off and you get free shipping when you purchase more than three perfumes. So don't forget to use my code 10AOMI for some money off. Okay, you know, we love to save a little coin around here. So that ain't no thing. My collection is growing so large but let's move on to all the other goodies that I got for this haul okay so first I just have these uh, converses they are the lugged converses and they are in all white with like these black accents I got these because I have the black and white lugged converses I really like the style of this it gives 
Dr. Martin without having to have the big old Dr. Martin on your foot. So I love this as an alternative. They also have this in like a khaki color, which I think I might get for the fall. I love this because it's a nice all white shoe. I do have the Air Force Ones, but I did feel like I needed something a little bit different. I am a Converse girl, so I am so glad I got these. To ride the Converse train, I just got these super cool, super unique, super funky, um brown uh, run star hike hike run star i don't know the full the real like order of the name but it's these converses that have like the the lumpy rigid ends on the side i love this shoe i really really do love this shoe i love the color and i got this because i do have the black and brown version of these i was gonna get the white ones but i did get those white converses so i was like i could hold off on that for a minute um but i did need a pair of brown shoes so i'm so glad i got these they're so cute and then it has like a little bit of texture on it i don't know if you guys can see that but these are really unique i've rarely seen people with this so i'm glad that i have these i think they're relatively easy to find and get so i will definitely be linking these down below y'all know i well maybe you guys don't know but if you guys don't know i have been wanting those air jordan ones the panda ones the ones that everybody and their mama got like literally the ones reselling for 800 plus but i don't have that kind of money so i actually did pick these up these are the nike dunk high so they're very similar to the other shoes um but these were not 500 dollars. i got these 200 dollars. so i think that's retail price i got these at a sneaker store by my house um i'll try to find these online i really am curious to see how much they are reselling for so i will go and look i try to take pictures in these shoes and like I don't know maybe I'm just not a sneaker girl you know like how some girls can really kill it this might not be for me so I might actually be reselling these so be on the lookout like I'm not too sure yet but save this number as we gonna see cuz we gonna see <laughs> next you guys to say hello to my literal growing Telfar collection like it is actually quite mad i have about i don't even want to count i think i have i have a black i have a white i have this blue one i have a tan one. Oh my god i gotta show you guys the tan one i have a tan one i have a brown one pink a uh, yellow orange i think i have about eight or nine self bar bags it has gotten crazy from the last time I did my collective haul I only had two and I had two on the way so I have this pink one and then I also have this orange one and then I also picked up this yellow one I don't know if you guys are familiar with Telfar bags I feel like most of the people on my channel are but yeah so this is just a small version they come in small medium and large so I got this yellow small then I also got this a special edition UGG Telfar bag so it just has like the UGG lining on the Telfar T and then on the back it says Ugg and Telfar so they did like a collaboration and it's so cute and I'll show you guys some more things that I got from their second drop of their collaboration um and the handles also have fur this is such a cute little bag like I kind of do wish I got the medium one but it's okay because this one will suffice for the winter time i also did get a brown one she was also a vibe during the fall and the winter so love 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 her i also like the medium version of this too i'm not saying i'm gonna get it but the medium is cute and then i have this medium blue i got this because it is summertime and i love bringing this to the beach like this against the water like it's just such a vibe so i got the medium blue it's probably such a rare like color to get in a medium size because it's not um neutral or anything but love this last but certainly not least oh gosh we have the tan so far bag this is the medium size as well this one is my everyday bag which is why it has so much stuff in it and um, that is my growing telfar collection i have a lot of telfar bags i really just be on it with these drops the only time i did bag security was for the pink and the orange one but that was the only time um every other time i literally just got on that website 858 make sure i hit that refresh button make sure i speedy gonzalez my way to their checkout and 
purchase my purchase my bags now that I have a collection now I feel like I have an addiction like I can't stop getting them like and if it's a color that I think I don't like if they said that but they're about to restock it and they show it again I'm like dang that that color is kind of nice you know like dang I kind of like that color so We'll see next time I do my next collective haul if my collection has grown or not. But I'm so proud of like this little collection and being able to support this a black owned brand. And I just think the bags are super cute. It's really a status symbol in some places that you go. So, like, now we're gonna move on to clothes, but we will continue on this Telfar train. So I basically picked up every color of their UGG Telfar collab um and their briefs so i got the gray color and it just says ugg telfar around the logo band and then i also got also got the black pair and i also got the chestnut pair so i i have no rationale or logic behind buying these except for that i wanted them so yeah if you guys want to run with that y'all can but that's the reason why i got these because i thought they were cute and like i said like i have mr clemens mr telfar clemens has me in a chokehold i fear and i will be supporting all of his drops okay so the next clothing item that i want to show i really really like this shirt i'm actually really getting into like all the black owned businesses having their own creative like t-shirts and things that are super unique that not many people have i love discovering finding new black owned brands to support and i'm so glad i found this one because this shirt is so cool to me so it's just this plain old t-shirt but on the t-shirt it has all the black owned brands in like a book version so like Telfar, Brendan Blackwood, Off-White, Yeezy, Fenty. They also do come in black and also a hoodie version. I just got the t-shirt version because it is summertime and it's so cute. Like this shirt is such a vibe to me. Oh, like. Next, I have a couple items to show you guys from this brand called The Crypt. You guys may or may not have heard of them before. They're a very popular Instagram clothing brand. I know all the Instagram girlies have some Crypt in their closet, okay? But I also have some Crypt in my closet and I bought three pairs of their jeans I really love their jeans they're very unique very different um, and they're very good quality as well so I just have and they're in this like corduroy material and they have like this patchwork on the leg um, I do suggest sizing down I think I got a small in this oh wait no I got an extra small but I think they do come in extra extra smalls so I do recommend sizing down but it's a nice calm baggy fit on me so I'm not mad at it and I'll show you guys how I styled this on the side I had these jeans for a minute like I really highly recommend if you want to have like that baggy tomboy grunge feel definitely crypt is where to go so I went ahead and got some white jeans from the crypt they have this rip at the knee this adds that little bit of extra grunge but the fit is really really nice that's why I really do enjoy this um and I did get in I got an extra extra small in this one last but not least I have these uh, black pair of jeans from the crypt as well and it does like that um that little asymmetrical cross button thing going on here which i think is so unique and different like i don't know don't really see this too often they also fit me lengthwise which is something that i also have to be wary of when i'm buying jeans because i am pretty tall so they fit me lengthwise and they do fit me width wise um and i got this an extra small i do recommend getting your normal size because the waist really um does cinch inward so it's not as baggy but um if you do want to have more of a snug fit you can go down a size but i like the way that it fits like slouchy and normally um and yeah so she is a vibiana i'm always a sucker for a pair of black jeans especially a good pair one that'll last me stop it and the last pair of jeans i kind of had a bad experience with these jeans because i ordered them three months ago maybe even four months ago and they're literally got to me like two weeks ago so i emailed them and everything i asked them like where's the jeans and they were like oh yeah they were pre-ordered which i knew they were pre-ordered but they said in two to three weeks they're gonna ship two to three weeks pass and the jeans still ain't ship okay so we were having a little bit of issues i was i didn't mind waiting after the little pre-order but 
y'all was taking a little bit too long but it's just these jeans and they're like in this acid wash color and then they have like these slashes on the leg as well but the cool thing about these jeans like i said i'm trying to get into some cool unique pieces so the jeans do like this little um fold over um kind of effect but the fold over is like literally in the loop which i think is super cool um it just sucks that i had such a bad experience with the brand because they were not trying to ship my stuff and i was like wow because i really wanted some other jeans on there too because they have a lot of nice jeans and the quality is really good but i'm not waiting another three months for jeans to get to me like that is absolutely ridiculous especially considering the price that i paid they're smoking like they're also not super long on me like they just barely hit my ankle um well they just barely touched the ground like barely past my ankle so yeah and i got a size 25 i don't recommend getting a size up or a size down i recommend getting a true size because um yeah these fit pretty snug not gonna lie if i went a size down they're probably high waters on me and if i went a size up they probably would not fit my waist and so last but not least i actually purchased drake's candles some candles from his candle line that he launched a while back i don't remember when he launched it um i have not lit them yet but i did smell them i didn't light them yet because i'm saving them for whenever i move because they're like super super like special to me i guess like it's not like drake personally sent them to me but whatever this is what it looks like in the box so it just says a better world fragrance house that is the name of his brand and i came in some really nice packaging like very much luxury very much i got what i paid for so um this is the box that it comes in and the one that i got well one of the ones that i got is called sweeter tings um and this one mm, smells so good mm, 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 mm. Um, and it's just this blue glass and it has this gold writing which says the name of the candle so it says sweeter tings this is a little pen that you can write who it's for so it says sweeter things sweeter tings for and then you can write like whoever the candle is to I just think that the packaging is really really cute on this so that's why I'm also saving this for whenever I do move the other one that I got is called Masoka musk musk oka Here's the other one that I got. I do not know how to pronounce this, but yeah, this one smells, oh my gosh. These both smell like really nice smelling men, <laughs> um, which is very appropriate for Drake. Same thing, comes with the pen, says who it's for and all that good stuff. Really, really excited to light these, but I just feel like I just don't wanna touch them. Like they're so pretty, like I don't wanna, I don't want to touch. So that concludes the end of this collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all the cute little unique pieces that I got and found something that you guys might enjoy, might be able to snag and steal off of these websites that we're selling out super fast. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.